Good day. This is our fifth video on word sums for grade 9 and 10. This one concerns example of speed, distance and time. That's why I drew this little triangle over here. You must ask your teacher or somebody to explain to you that this triangle says that if you want distance, you go speed times time. And then distance divided by time will give you speed and distance divided by speed will give you time. So this is just a triangle that's frequently used in science and maths. That if you take speed times time to get distance, you can also go distance divided by speed to get time or distance divided by time to get speed. It's a triangle that will help us. You need to understand it before you go on with this video, please. The question won't have this in it. That's something that you should work out yourself. The question I set up here that we're doing word sums for grade 9 and 10. And remember, if we don't know a value, we call it X or any small letter of the alphabet. The question will look like this in a test or an exam. Warren walked to town at 4 kilometers an hour and ran home at 9 kilometers an hour. You should see in this information that it's one distance that he's doing. It's out to town and back to home, so it's one distance. Then they ask, Warren took 4 hours and 20 minutes to get to town and back. Find the distance from Warren's house to town. People don't like this, but look at this video a few times and get the feeling on what's going on. When we set up a question on distance, speed and time, it's always important to, at the top, I said we write two or three things in all word sums. You put distance, speed and time in that order. What is important, you also go speed, time and distance, but you need to put the distance on the side. So either start with distance and then speed and time or start with speed and time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a table with this information. In our table, we're going to have distance, speed, and time, like I said. Always make sure the distance is on the side, on either this side or on that side. Then we're going to have on the one, the one situation is going to be walking to town. He's walked to town, and he ran from town. He walked to town at 4 kilometers an hour, so I have a speed here, which I can write in here. So he walked at 4 kilometers an hour. Then they said he ran home at 9 kilometers an hour. So he ran... And you've got his speed, we can write that in here. I took out the kilometers per hour. Of course, it's just more variables to confuse us. But what is important in here is that we're working with kilometers and hours. So in the whole question as we work, make sure that everything is in hours and kilometers before we move on. We decided that we were going to make the distance from his house to the town x kilometers. So we can put x over here because he walked x kilometers to town and he walked back x kilometers home now this triangle will become very important and remember in word sums we don't always get answers and we have to work have to work out the time now the time that he walked and the time that he ran and that's a confusing part to the average person we have to understand that the distance divided by the speed will give us the time although we don't have an actual distance we do have a speed and we can write these two together in a mathematical way to find the time. And that's going to be distance divided by speed. This is now maths in its full. So the time that he walked was the x divided by the 4, which is x over 4. The time he ran will be x over 9. This is definitely not for the faint of heart, but this is then the time that he walked, and this is the time that he ran. Remember that our time has to be in hours because we're working in kilometers per hours and kilometers here. A little bit confusing, but try and stick to the question. Now, using all the information that we have here and the mass I built up inside this table, I'm going to set up a sum. They said here that Warren took 4 hours and 20 minutes to get to town and back. That means it's the total of all his time. The time means this time that he walked plus the time that he ran together gives me this and that's why I'm going to set up my equation now before we go any further I just want to stress that when doing these kind of sums make sure that all your units are in kilometers and hours so that is what we are working with so anything that's in minutes or something we must convert now so I'm going to take the four hours and 20 minutes now and convert it to clean hours each person can do this differently but I took the four hours and 20 minutes made it into four hours and 20 over 60 hours then I converted this on the calculator to 4 hours and a third of an hour. And I made this into an improper fraction to make sure that I have it in hours, which I can now use in my equation. All right, now we set up an equation. 
the total time that he took is equal to the time that he walked plus the time that he ran. So we have this time that he walked, which looks ugly. The time that he ran, it also looks ugly to the average person like me. But we know that this time plus this time will equal to the total time that he took. And that we're going to fill in here. The total time equals the time walked plus the time ran. So please don't get confused. The total time they gave us that he took to town and back was 4 hours and 20 minutes is equal to the time that he walked plus the time that he ran. Then I converted the 4 hours and 20 minutes to 13 over 3 hours. I can never do this in total, but I want to get it next to each other. And then I can take this part out. Now we have a normal equation with fractions, which we will times by the LCD and solve for x. So I will times by the LCD, in this case 36, and I will solve this equation. Like I said, these word sums, I'm not going to do equations with you. I'm just showing you how to put the sum together. So after times it with my LCD, I put my like terms together, get 13x equals 156, and then x equals to 12. In this case, because it is the distance, it will be x is 12 kilometers. This is a normal equation. Now remember what I said, that if you work with a word sum, at the end you must give them words back as your answer. We worked out that x was 12 kilometers, so that is the distance from that he walked to town and the distance that he ran home. So we write x is the distance from Warren's house to town. So you write in your final answer, distance is 12 kilometers. Let's give them a word answer.